like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Number four says, if 7p minus 4 equals 8, then what is the value of p? So here we're just solving a linear equation. We have 7p minus 4 equals 8. And uh, there's no distributive property to do here, no like terms to combine. So we're just going to move on to our properties of equality. The first property of equality that we're going to use is going to be the property of addition. We're going to add 4 to both sides to get rid of that minus 4 on the left-hand side. Ultimately, what we're trying to do here is isolate P. So any numbers that we see on the same side of the equation as P need to be dealt with. Right? We need to get rid of this minus 4. So to, bounce, to, to get rid of this minus 4, we're going to add 4. And the, our addition property of equality says that if we do... Uh, add something to one side, we have to do it to the other. Okay, so after I add 4 to both sides, it's going to give me 7 times p equals 12. Is that right? Yeah, uh, 8 plus 4 is 12, good. And then so we have 7 times p. So the way that we're going to get rid of that 7 is we want to do the opposite operation. Um, you know, if this is 7 times p, we want to divide both sides by 7 to get rid of that 7 on the left-hand side. So after we divide both sides by 7, that's going to give us p uh, equals uh, 12 sevenths. Can't really reduce that, so that's just going to be our answer. Um, and it looks like we do have that as an answer choice. So the correct answer for number 4, it looks like it's going to be c. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.